our config map allows you to decouple environment specific configuration from your container images so that your application are easily portable. A config map is an API object used to store non-confidential data in key value pairs. Pods can consume config maps as environment variables, command line arguments, or as configuration files in a volume. In this video, we will cover what are configuration parameters and how we can pass configuration parameters to the container. Drawbacks and solutions in Docker and Kubernetes. What is config map and how it can overcome drawbacks. How to set up container environment variables using config map. Creating a pod that uses config map and verify if pod uses a config map to set up the environment variables. Setting configuration file with volume using config map. Verify mounting of config map as volume and how to clean up the process and delete all the resources created in the task. In the end, we will also share details about our free Kubernetes masterclass. Config map is important, especially when you're preparing for Kubernetes Administrator Certification. That's Certified Kubernetes Administrator, CKA. Welcome to another episode of Docker and Kubernetes video series from K21 Academy, where we take you from complete beginner covering microservices and Docker to all the way installing and configuring Kubernetes cluster using networking, storage, deployment, pods, and scaling your Kubernetes cluster using horizontal pod auto-scaling, including how to prepare for the certification exam. We have taken a clip from one of our certification training program on Docker and Kubernetes for administrators, that's CKA. And in this clip, our instructor will talk about config map. So this is a clip taken from a module on security, network policy, config map, and resource quota. Let's hear from our instructor on the same. Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will discuss about some configuration parameters which we can pass to our containers. And there are different ways in which we can pass these configuration parameters, making it more secure as well and making it more editable or uh, manageable. So when we say it is a configuration parameter, it is some settings which is helping us tune our application to uh, execute better. It is either a environment variable or a flag which changes on some specific logic inside my application. And I don't want my containers to depend on that environment variables. And if there is a change in the value of the environment variable, I'll have to rebuild the entire image. That dependency I don't want to create. Then in such cases, when each of the container has its own environment variable, which are defined in the image of it, if I'm making any changes to it, its value, I need to recreate the entire image, rewrite the Docker file, execute the Docker build and recreate the image and redeploy. I don't want to do that. And that was the drawback on the Docker level as well, right? In Docker, if we had to change anything, then we had to rebuild the entire image. To overcome that, if we want to change anything, then there should not be any need to recreate the entire container or modify the deployment. What we would do, we would be uh, writing these environment variables as part of volume or as part of environment variables, which can be run during, which can be um, not run, rather changed during the execution itself. So if we wish to change this variable inside multiple containers, I need not have to go to each of the containers and change a variable value. Rather, instead of doing that duplication, I can write the parameters value in a separate file, which is normally called as config map. And if I change it in one place, it should reflect in each of the container. So we would see there are two terminologies. One is called as config map and one is called as secrets. Kubernetes uses these two kinds to solve these problems. Uh, secret is used for confidential data where we are encrypting the values which we are supplying inside our containers to our application and config map is for non-confidential type of data. Any configuration parameters like we have our nginx con for any type of configuration which you want to pass. So let's see how does the config map works. Config map is nothing but a 
configuration data which is saved in the key value pair and it can be consumed inside the pod in different ways. So we would store, we would create a kind config map, we'll store the data in it, the key and the value. And that particular config map would be used inside the container so that the container gets the value of it. And on the runtime, we would be not going inside the container and changing the value. Rather, you change the config map and that should reflect inside the container. So using this way, we can organize our configuration data in much more easier way. And could be there, there are 10 containers which have the similar configuration and the same values to be provided. I did not go and change in each of the containers and rebuild the containers, right? I can change it in a single place and that should reflect in each of the containers. So we would see how does this configuration data be used. We can set this configuration and data as an environment variable inside the container, or you want to provide it as a command line argument for a container, the arg sections, you can do that as well. Or you can write config files and as a volume, you can mount them. There are different ways of using this configuration map. So we would see how do we actually use this going ahead in the exercise when we do ha the hands-on section. So let's move on to the hands-on video and uh, let's see how do we use config map to set the environment variables inside a container. So we can set uh, container environment variables using config map. So let's understand how does a config map look first. Config map has an API version one and kind is design, designated as config map. Metadata associated with config map, you're giving the name and the namespace. If you don't give the namespace till here, the value is default, so it will take the default namespace. But if you want to create a config map or any type of resource, if you write the namespace section in the metadata, that particular resource gets created in that namespace which you specify. Config map has a key and a value. The data which we are storing is as a key value pair. So here, if you see the data is a key called as my data and the value is called as hello world. This particular key and a value we would be supplying as an environment variable in a pod. So let me quickly create this. I'll create this. Let me show the pod which is using that particular config map. So here kind is pod, metadata of the pod, the specification, the container, the name, the image, the port number, everything as we have been doing it. But this time the ENV is the new parameter. So I'm setting an environment variable inside the container. The name of the environment variable is called as CM and the value from is coming, the value of the CM is coming from a config map key reference. So it is saying this value would be supplied from a config map whose name is my config and which value do I read? My config map can have hundreds of keys. I want to reference only one key and that value I want to set inside the container. So I'm referring the key of my data. So let's go and quickly refer back the name of the config map is my config and the key which we are referring is my data and that's what you are mentioning over here. I'm creating the config map over here using the config map YAML. You can do a kubectl get on config map the short form is cm. My config is shown up over here. You can describe that particular config map as well and you give the name as my hyphen config you should be able to see the data section too. Now let's go ahead and create a pod which is using this config map. So name is config map hyphen pod, the file name, the one which we had seen, uh, hyphen pod, and here the pod is created, kubectl get pods, let's see. Awesome, the pod is also up and running. So now pod is created. How do you find whether the environment variable is set or not? We are executing uh, interactively in this cm hyphen pod pod, which we have created and we are trying to print the environment variables, which are set inside that particular pod. Let's do this. Here, cm equals to hello world is set. 
So what's the advantage of this? Now, if I change the value, I just need to recreate the pod. I did not recreate the image for that container. Just recreating the pod would reflect the changes of the config map values in case I'm changing. So this way you can use config map as an environment variable inside a pod. Let's see the other one. Let's quickly clean this. I'm deleting the pod and I'm deleting the config map, both of them. Let's quickly do that. It will take a while for the deletion of the pod. Let's delete till the time we would go and see the next section. So here you are creating one more config map. So either you have a key and a value or you can write the entire configuration file itself inside the config map. So if you see this config map file, I have data called as redis config and it has multiple lines in it and how do we denote that with this pipe symbol i don't have a value associated with it i have a complete chunk of the section associated with it okay so here redis config the data is redis config the key and the values are these two line kind is config map metadata is given and the namespace so we would go ahead and create this config map Let's see the pod as well, which is trying to access that. So once we are using this config map, we want that config map data to be present in some file inside the container because that's the content of a file, right? It's a content of actually redis.conf file. So here I'm creating a redis pod, which has a redis container. This environment variable is a generic environment variable, which I'm setting the value here itself. There is no value from the key of a config map and all that, rather a standard environment variable. The port opened by the container, the limit of resources by the container, and in the volume mount section, we have two things. If we have a normal volume which we want to mount, that is one thing. And the second, we want to mount the config map as a volume. So we are trying to see both, show both the flavors so that you can differentiate between them. The first one, Redis master data, is mounting a volume called as data. And if you see data is what? Data is an empty directory. But the second one is slash Redis master, the name is config. Let's see what is it name config is saying I'm a config map. I'm not a normal volume like any NFS volume or EBS volume or empty directory type, right? Rather, I'm a config map. The name of the config map and what all items do I want? I'm saying I'm accessing this key from this particular config map and place that in this path as redis.conf. So whatever content we have written in the config map in the redis hyphen config key, that would get written in redis.conf. So let's quickly create this and see what do we get out of it. We would try to access this redis.conf from the container and see the content is updated. So let me quickly pick up the file names. First, let me get the redis config map cm.yaml. I'm creating the config map kubectl get config map. I should have one of it. Let's start the pod create hyphen f. Sorry, let's hyphen f and give the name. This is also created kubectl get pods. Let's see our pod is up and running. Yes, it's up and running. Now these two steps are done. You could see that things are up and running. Now we are trying to execute on Redis pod. What we are trying to do, you're trying to cat. What you're trying to cat, because it is mounted in slash Redis master. Where is this mounted? This is mounted in slash Redis master. And the file which gets created is redis.conf. So I'm trying to cat the content of this file. Because this is mounting a config map as a volume, it should have those two parameters or those two sentences updated inside the redis.conf file. So with this, you understand that how I want to use, if I want to use a config map as an environment variable, or I want to mount that 
config map inside the container as a volume, I can even do that. Before leaving for, from the exercise, don't remember, uh, forget to, uh, I was saying don't remember, don't forget to delete the resources. Cool. All the resources are create, uh, cleared, so we our cluster is clean for the next exercise, just to get all and verify. Cool. So that was all about the config map. So that was a clip taken from one of the lessons from our step-by-step -step training program on Docker and Kubernetes for beginners. I would like to invite you for a free masterclass on how to kickstart your journey in Docker and Kubernetes right from learning basics, what is Docker, what is Kubernetes, and getting certified by using our step-by-step 12-week -step roadmap to go from complete beginner to a certified Kubernetes administrator. If you are interested, register for a free class by going on to k21academy.com slash kubernetes02. I highly recommend you go through this free class and see what to expect in the exam and learn basics on Docker and Kubernetes. So, k21academy.com slash kubernetes02. Please click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. I will see you in another episode of Docker and Kubernetes from K21 Academy. Till then, take care.